Okay, so the only reason I'm going to make another uh, video on this movie, Leave the World Behind, which came out in December of 2023. I've already done two relatively short videos, but the subject is so important and the messages in this movie are so extreme and relevant that uh, I want to give you this brief introduction again. And uh, I'm working on a very long video that covers like pretty much everything I see in this movie. Because I watched it three times and I'm going to watch it again too. Probably in slow motion. <clears throat> because there's so much satanic symbolism. There's so many hidden messages and occult innuendos. There is so much that it's like un unlike anything I've ever seen before. Yeah, lots of movies have had, you know, lots of hidden stuff and, you know, predictive programming and whatever, but this is beyond the pale. And it's so deep, the more you watch it, the more you see at least for me and some other people online. So I just want to say that, let me just give you a reason why this movie is predicting strongly, possibly a very near future for Western civilization and especially the United States. So I'm just going to go to one scene. This is a scene. Okay, there were several scenes where the sun was partially visible, you know, above the New York skyline and then above this building and above some other stuff, but never fully visible from the Earth's perspective. The sun was never fully visible, so it was partially eclipsed. But then, this is the final scene, not of the movie, but regarding the sun. And just ignore this right here. This is a reflection. But right here, so it, it zooms in, the, the movie zooms in on the moon's surface. And supposedly, there's the astronaut flag from NASA on the moon. Yeah, but... It's being viewed, supposedly, at least the movie implies this, from the moon's surface. So, here you are, supposedly, standing on the moon or whoever. And the sun's in the background. See it way back there? But the earth is between the moon and the sun. Let that sink in. And this is in a movie not too long ago. So here you are, you and I, supposedly here on Earth between the moon and the sun. The sun does a total, total solar eclipse if you're standing on the moon looking that way. So the earth is in front of the sun. The earth blots out the sun through this supposed eclipse, which nobody's ever filmed before, by the way. This is all CGI stuff. But it does go frame by frame, you know, in one of these last scenes of the sun and the, and the earth. And it shows a total solar eclipse. If you're standing on the moon right here, and from that perspective, it displays a total eclipse, solar eclipse, just like we're going to see on April 8th, 2024. Now, this is significant, folks, because I've already seen a lot of the satanic uh, suggestions and pre-programming and innuendos and messages they've sent. And I'm telling you, this is serious. 
you know, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, on, on April 8th. And by the way, the eclipse is passing right over my house. But I will say this. Do not, do not travel from your home to go see this. Because you think you got to see the totality of the eclipse. There's multiple states that are deploying the National Guard. Just like they did in the 2017 thing. That eclipse to guide traffic, but it's going to be much more, many hundreds of thousands more National Guard this time to direct traffic, they say, and keep the peace. Yeah, whatever. Well, it could be the start also of martial law. Who knows? I don't know. Neither do you. But I am suggesting to you, stay on the safe side. Stay home. Watch it from your television screen, from YouTube. You know, put it on your 72-inch TV or whatever. Let your friends look at it and share their videos with you. But don't put yourself out there. Don't travel, you know, to see this thing because it's as old as the earth is. You know, you always establish the signs and the times and the things in the heavens. And he said, don't be alarmed by them. But when the evil people put this in front of your face, you better listen up because they might have something planned for this date. And you do not be, you do not want to be caught, you know, going down the highway with your ass hanging out the window, you know, and, and no way to protect yourself, no way to come back home because the traffic jams are going to be immense and just ridiculous. I'm not looking forward to it because I know there's going to be thousands of thousands of people in my little podunk town and we're stocking up ahead of time, you know, on like milk and bread and stuff because all these people are going to clean out the resources and also the gas stations. You're not going to be able to fill up your tank. Once all these, 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 uh, entrepreneurs, you know, want to be, you know, YouTube stars come to film the eclipse with their phones, they're going to clean out the damn gas stations. There's not going to be a drop, a drop of gasoline or diesel for maybe a week or more. If you're in the path of this eclipse, it's absolutely going to devastate the economy. You know, maybe even a week or more before the the petroleum companies, the gas companies, can get supplies there. Believe me, this is supply and demand. That's how it works. They have no reserves at these gas stations. They only have what they have in their gas station. That's it. And how does the gasoline and diesel come in? Through semi-trailers, tractor trailers. Yeah. And if everybody's empty all at once along this path, which involves millions of people, millions of people across the country, how are they going to get resupplied? They're not. They're not for many days, maybe weeks. Who knows? But that's why I suggest to you and your families, stay home, stay safe. Rely on Yahweh. And watch this, you know, from your home TV for the shit show it is. Because it's just a shit show. You know, it's it's nothing new. It's spectacular to see with your own eyes. Yes, it is. But this is all staged to distract you and to mislead you. May Yahweh bless all of you.